Year 6. It's really good to be with you today, even though I can only be with you virtually. And uh, I was thinking that a bit of skipping uh, might help me to, to keep fit because I'm not out and about seeing so many people at the moment. I'm spending far too much time sitting on my bottom looking at a computer screen. And I'm sure that all of you will have done some skipping whilst you were at primary school and some of you will have been better at it than others. And a skipping rope offers us a good way of thinking about this transition time for you between primary school and high school. If you pick up a skipping rope, it's impossible to tell which bit is the beginning or the end. And all of you are coming to the end of one thing, but you're also about to come to the beginning of something new as you start to get ready to move schools. Now, it may be that you're feeling really excited about what's happening next. Your heart might speed up a bit when you think about it, like it might do when you've been skipping hard for a few minutes. Or you might feel a bit sad at all that you're leaving behind with primary school. And that's completely normal. And perhaps you feel a mixture of those two emotions. But change is normal. Our lives are made up through lots of changes, some big, some small. And that's how we move on through our life. But one thing I believe you can be sure of is however you're feeling about moving on, is that you don't do this alone, even if you're the only one going to your new school. Christians believe that God travels with us throughout our lives and that we're never really on our own because God is there with us at the, our endings and our beginnings, always interested in what's happening in our lives, always there for us. So I've got a special blessing for you today as you prepare to move on, which you can make your own, if you like, by saying Amen at the end of it. So may God watch over you all as you move on to new schools. May God guide you to make wise decisions. May God strengthen you and inspire you to work hard and do your best. And may God comfort you when you face challenges and difficulties. Amen. And in the meantime, between that ending and that beginning, I hope you have a brilliant summer holiday. Right, let's see if I can remember how to do this again.